Jody, Arias' trial starts back up again at 9 tomorrow morning. Arias accused of murdering Travis Alexander. And tonight we're hearing from Alexander's so-called Arizona family. They're talking to ABC 15's Mary Ellen Resendez about what it's been like to sit through this trial and what they say are false accusations and mudslinging. For four months, we've heard intimate details of Travis Alexander's life and faults. Many, the Hyatt family says, are not true. That's the hardest thing for me is... is uh is it's you lose him again. Brent Hyatt says he's very familiar with Arias's lies. After Alexander was found stabbed, throat slashed, and shot, Arias turned to him for answers. He called me and and uh, it's like, hey, I'm I'm hearing rumors. Is everything okay? And she seemed, you know, just as scared as everybody else. That was surreal to me, you know, especially looking back at surreal, knowing that I was actually talking to the person who, admittedly, killed. You know, one of my best friends. Brent and his father, Dr. Carl Hyatt, told me Aria stalked Travis, slashed his tires, and even broke into his cell phone to send herself messages. So her current story of being attacked over a camera does not seem plausible to them. I don't believe her claims of abuse, not at all. I knew a lot of her as girlfriends. Nothing, nothing like that ever happened. As for justice, the Hyatts tell me the same message they told the Alexander family. It doesn't really matter what the verdict is. Justice will happen, and it's going to be a, eternal. But it's, it happens in the next life. And I, and I encourage them not to take any more away from their own life. She stole, she stole your brother. Don't let him steal you.